Hey guys, I know I said I probably wouldn't start her till April 1st, but I lied. I want to do this big butterfly right here. This is the April Fairy from Diamond Art Club. And if you don't know, she's for my 50th birthday, which is April 19th. And I was trying to wait till April 1st to start her, but I want her done by the 19th. And I'm having a crappy day. Um, we live out in the country and we have two big guard dogs who decided to get into a fight today. And when hubby gets home with the car, they're probably both going to have to be put down. So yeah, but hoping I'm wrong. But one of them's out in the yard right now looking at me like, what, Mom? And if you don't know, I don't have good lungs, so I was down there trying to break it up, and that was just a mess. My life is a mess. Um, I'm not going to talk about that C word going around, but I cannot get this open. Ugh. Anyway. I have found a way to still be a hoarder. Okay, I'm just taking the whole sticker off. In the pandemic. These are the diamond dots. The 7002, the black ABs. I want 550s for this painting, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to order them. I just don't think it's going to be in the budget. Because I'm, oh, I'm worried about spending extra money right now. Because my husband is a trash man and he's still working, but um, all the restaurants are closing and the gas stations are closing the bathrooms, so he can't even get anywhere to wash his hands, which is, you know, not scary at all. <sighs> anyway. So, what is going on with you guys? One of my kids lives in Georgia, and I just sent him a text and said, Hey, I want to know you're okay. Send me some pictures so I know you're okay. You're doing okay, because it's really bad down there. And I get a picture of him doing weird faces and filters and, like, really... But anyway, those are the rainbow ABs from Diamond Dots. Oh, so I think I'm going to do the black of the butterfly in that. I wanted 550s. I think I already said that. Did I tell you guys that? Anyway, I don't think I'm going to be able to get them. I know that T-Mall is supposed to open on the 1st, but we have a big bill going out. And I'm just worried about spending extra money and I may or may not have ordered the new Hannah Lynn, but I had a $25 coupon, so it doesn't really count, right? <laughs> anyway, so I thought that black sparklers might be really, really pretty on the butterfly so I ordered them online and there was only one store that had them we have our town has two we were in the middle of two towns and each one has a Joann's and one town had three and one town had none which the smaller town had the three which is just weird don't you think and so I ordered them online, and I had hubby do curbside pickup. So here comes this trash man in his trash uniform, picking up black ABs. And if y'all don't know, my husband looks like Santa Claus, because my husband is Santa Claus, literally. Yeah. We have this lay and all. In December, I'll take you guys some videos. Um, 
yeah so Santa Claus brought me black ABs yesterday got to go to Joanne's I don't get to go out which is funny because you know everybody's posting well we're going here and we're going on vacation and I've been in the house for 554 days I don't know and I went to the store last week because my son was off and I'm like will you run me to the Amish store to get some meat because they have meat that doesn't have antibiotics that antibiotics you know what I'm trying to say in it so I can eat it because I'm not supposed to have a bunch of extra stuff and it affects me and I can eat their meat and not be hurting and so we ran down there and there was literally like nine people in the store it was awesome I got in and out of there in 20 minutes and I got like a month's worth of meat for like $120 I love going down there but I came home and I was like, you guys, I got meat. And everybody's losing their crap because I left the house. And I'm like, y'all are going on vacation to other states. Going to Walmart, going to the park. And I go to the grocery store and y'all lose your crap. Like, really? Yes, I know I have bad lungs. Yes, I know. But I literally have not left the house since before the stay-at-home order took effect because I knew it was bad people get on my nerves get on my nerves because it's like hey uh, you realize I'm like 50 almost 50 years old I'm like 19 days I was so excited for my 50th birthday. And now I'm just like, ugh. Um, I was either going to sneak to Georgia or my son was going to sneak home to see me. And now that can't happen. And I won't get to see my dad because he passed away. And this is my first birthday without my dad. Won't be able to go out to eat. So it's like... The birthday I was so excited for is slowly becoming bleh. But I'm still trying to be positive because I'm still here. I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm still here. So what's going on with you guys? Let me see if I can figure out any goofy stories to tell you. Hmm. I was thinking about this. And the last time I remember that we were all home like this was when we had the blizzard of 78 here, which I don't remember a lot because I was like eight. But when we had the blizzard of 78, my dad had just gotten a black pickup. Oh, that pickup truck was badass. And he would go out and he'd help the police department get people unstuck. And it was so bad that people can't get to the grocery store. And he would pick them up in his truck and take them to the grocery store. And he had an accommodation. The police had given him a special award for helping and when my dad passed away, we gave that to my nephew, who's a firefighter. Because we thought it might be something he would want. But anyway, that so winter, um, when it was bad, but not as bad, we were out at this lake down here called Lake Monroe. And my dad was a jokester. And... <laughs> There's this guy out there ice fishing, and my dad and his friend Owen drive out in the middle of the lake. Why this poor man is out there ice fishing, and here comes these two worn pickups doing donuts and acting like idiots on the lake. Like literally, in the middle of the lake, they go up there. And they pull up to this guy ice fishing with this hole in the middle of the lake, and they're like, 
Hey buddy, you know how to get back to 65? We're lost. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff my dad did. Could you imagine? My mom was always yelling at him. My dad took this old step van when we were kids and he converted it into a camper. And he would take us out sledding. And we'd go in the camper and my dad would be in there making hot chocolate and stuff. So cool. I love memories like that. Do you guys get memories like that? I wish we would have done more stuff like that with our kids. But my husband's always up to something. I don't know, I was sitting here Saturday. And Scott's cleaning out his barn. And he's throwing stuff in the trash and not keep hearing booms. Like, rocking the camper booms. And it's like, oh, do I even want to know? So I went out there and I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, I just had some propane canisters and I guess they were in the trash. <sighs> Y'all. I, I, I just, I don't know about him. Do not know about him. He's not right. But he decided to clean his camper out because he bought a wood stove. So there's like furniture and tables and all this stuff sitting down there. And I'm just like, I'm just, I, I don't even know. I came to the camper. And I shut the door. And I don't know anything. The poor dogs were hiding under the cabin. And ugh. then they decided to clean the guns. So apparently when you clean the guns, you have to shoot the guns so you can re-clean the guns. And I have a chihuahua. And we have this other dog who, I don't know what he is. He's part Pomeranian, part... I don't know. He's just the fattest dog on the planet. He was one of those deals. We came home one day and he's in the yard. It's like, okay, I guess we got a new dog. But he has an overbite. His name's Jackson. He has an overbite, so he's always smiling. But anyway, Scott's firing guns and Jackson's just standing there looking at him, wagging his tail. My chihuahua's looking at him, wagging his tail. And our two guard dogs are hiding under the cabin. We didn't see them the rest of the day. And I'm like, oh my lord. That's my guard dogs. It is never a dull moment when you live with the rednecks. But it's starting to get warmer. So I think we're going to start getting some projects done around here. Which would be cool. I'm trying to decide. I almost want to do most of the black. Except maybe her face with the. Rhinestones. Kind of, kind of do. What do you think? I don't know. This vine's going to be because I think I halfway did it. But we'll see. I end up ordering some more through Joanne's oh, that I can't afford. Yeah, I found out that I've been trying to get disability. And they're not processing disability right now. So I'll be waiting on that forever. And Scott keeps saying, well, don't worry about it because when you get it, you get back pay, and I'm like, I haven't had income since July. A little like, hello. Yeah. Um, what else is going on? We're still waiting to find out if my son's wedding is going to happen. He's supposed to get married May 24th, Memorial Day weekend. Because, you know, everybody gets married on a Sunday. Like, okay. 
Now we don't know if it's going to happen. Or if we're going to have to shorten it. I don't know what they're going to do. Hmm, the checky. So, have y'all went and got anything from the Diamond Dots of Joann's? Have you went and got any sparklers? Or I know a lot of people order through T-Mall. Which I'd really like to have 550s. I like to make all these sparklers. Oh. I got um, Linglo back. I had her framed at Hobby Lobby and Hubby's like, yeah, you had yours framed and now I had, w I had one framed so we won't have any more framed. <gasps> Y'all, he's so funny. He's so funny. Because April Fairy will be getting framed. I'm hoping I can maybe find a frame to fit her and not have to pay. But when I framed Munglo, I wanted a purple frame. And so, yeah. Her $20 frame became like, I think it ended up being like 120 She's worth it. Because she's gorgeous. But if I would have ordered a frame online, it was going to be like 110 And then when I paid Hobby Lobby, they did everything. And they weren't supposed to mat it, but she came with the mat, which I'm kind of glad it did. Because I didn't pay for it, but I think they screwed something up or measured wrong, and so they had to mat it. And I'm like, okay. By the way, this is one of them wax pencils. It doesn't work great, but it does work. Would I recommend it? Mm. I paid 99 cents. It just saves me aggravation. But these are the Diamond Dot 7002. If I repeat myself, I'm sorry. I have short term memory issues. That's part of lupus. But oh my god, aren't they going to make that butterfly so pretty? Oh, she's going to be so pretty. Well. Oh, yeah, four star going. I thought it wasn't on. I was like, oh my god, I've just been talking to myself. But. I've been wanting to do a rip and chat all week, but the boys, Cody has been home. So that means he's been over. And then I had a bunch of schoolwork to do because I went back to school. Because everybody decides to get a degree when they're 48 years old. <sighs> I might be done by the time I'm 60. And then... My school was like, everybody's going to online classes. Don't come to school. And I'm like, I don't come to school anyway. Does that mean I get a break? <gasps> no. You may hear some gra weird noises. My puppy is currently chewing on my chair or a bone or my shoes. Who knows? Well, I guess he's not really puppy he'll be one the 17th see that means oscar was meant to be my puppy because his birthday is april 17th and mine is april 19th so that means i had to have him <laughs> i was teasing my son the other day i'm like if you hit the lottery will you buy me a girl dog and he goes i will buy you lots of things if i hit the lottery a dog is not one of them. I'm like, why are you hating on my dogs? But he keeps saying, oh, I'm going to buy you a house. So I took him down the road and showed him the one I want. And he's like, well, what would you do with dad's cabin and your cabin? I'm like, oh, you and your dad can stay. I just want the house. Oscar! Dude! <sighs> he 
He's gonna grow out of that, right? Yeah. But my husband, he calls the other day and he's like, aren't we on lockdown? I'm like, yeah. He said, I've seen more people since the lockdown went into effect than I've seen before. And he picks up the parks and they're like full of campers. And he's like, really? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I would be scared to take my kids out there, but then there goes the heater. You might have heard that. I can't imagine having little kids and being in all this and having to homeschool them. God bless all of you. God bless all of you doing that. I just, I think I'd be losing my mind. It's bad enough having a 28 year old home. And he's got his own cabin on the property. I think I'm gonna go down to Dollar General and buy some pot because it's essential. And I'm like, okay. We've been trying to find hand sanitizer for the hubs. It's impossible. And then my son's like, just make your own. And I'm like, where are you going to find this stuff to make your own? Ooh. It's crazy. And then I went through... I drive through for the first time in three weeks the other day. Oh my god, that was the best ice cream I've had in my entire life. <laughs> I just wanted something sweet. So I called my husband and I'm like, look, I've been begging you guys for three weeks to bring me cheesecake. I just want one piece of cheesecake. Will you please stop at Walmart and buy me a cheesecake? Y'all... He brought me a family size cheesecake. Like, eight pieces, 12 inches. He was like, would that be okay? And I'm like, are you going to eat some? No, I don't want any. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Luckily, my son ate some. My husband was like, what? I could eat that. And I'm like, I'm not eating that entire cheesecake by myself. <sighs> so he bought a gallon of ice cream last night and brought it home. I bet you it's gone. He's always telling me. If I have a cake and I don't cut it, it's one piece. And I'm like, no. He's like, yep, it's one piece of cake. Oh my lord. There's a reason he looks like Santa, y'all. Drives me crazy. But he's a good man. Is anybody else sick of cooking, though? Ugh, so sick of it. Uh, he's going to. And. The other cabin, I have an $800 five burner stove, and then the camper, I only have a camper. And he's like, I'm going to get rid of that stove. I'm going to take it to the junkyard. It's not even three years old. I'm like, you're not getting rid of my stove. Because this oven in the camper does not work. It is annoying not having an oven. And he's like, yeah, I'm just going to throw it away. I'm like, no, no, you're not. So, I'm going to make him find a way to move it up here. And then I can start baking again. Because I don't like a lot of fried foods. I like to bake. I'd rather have baked chicken and all that stuff, but use what you have. I have an air fryer, but it's not the same. And then I bought one of them fancy um, 
convection ovens you put on your counter. Yeah, I know. That thing sucks. See, this is about the Rax pencil. You can get them in the general area, but then you have to go move them and put them where they should be. So I keep a pencil that doesn't have any wax in it and then I rearrange them as I need to oh thank heavens I got the plastic up because I am making a mess that's why I don't use small ones I didn't think I was gonna do this many but apparently I am so Let's do this and stop making a mess. The only thing about diamond drills is they are so staticky. Drives me insane. Oh, I lost that already, y'all. But anyway, we're almost at 30 minutes and I'm just rambling. But, um, I do post more pictures on my Instagram. I'm much better on Instagram than I am YouTube. Of course, it's easier because I don't have to have as good of internet. And we live in the boonies without internet. So, follow me on Instagram, Diamond Painting Camper. And you probably see me in some diamond painting groups, but you won't know it's me because I'm under my real name. So. And I could tell y'all my maiden name that's up there, but you would never know it anyway. Mind me to tell you a funny story about my maiden name and my husband telling me he'd never date a German girl. My maiden name is Siebenthal. Yeah. That was funny. Like, um, dude. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. And, uh, see, wouldn't 550s be so beautiful right there? Alright, you guys stay safe. God bless. And remember, my daddy always used to tell me, you're stronger than you think you are. So, we're all going to get through this together. God bless and let me know if you need prayers. Amen.